Virtual reality, commonly referred to as VR, is a fast-growing technology, one that is becoming particularly popular amongst teens and kids. To experience virtual reality, you must put on a virtual reality headset, which recreates a virtual environment, allowing a person to look around in 360 degrees, hear thrilling sounds, and move their physical body to interact with the virtual world around them. VR headsets are topping wish lists of young people all over the world, but with several VR headsets coming out with age restrictions, is the technology safe for young children to explore? There is no consensus among VR headset makers on the age that children should be allowed to use these VR tools. HTC takes the safest route, saying that children should not be allowed to use its VR headset, the HTC Vive. Sony, on the other hand, recommends that users be aged 12 and above to use its headset, the PlayStation VR. Oculus Rift and Samsung Gear VR, two other popular VR gizmos, come with an age recommendation of 13 plus. The relatively new Google Cardboard prescribes that kids only use the VR headset under parental supervision. Companies have no explanations for these varying age recommendations, so what does the science say? Unfortunately, not much, as VR technology is quite new. Also, it's very difficult to do research using children as subjects due to ethical and regulatory restrictions. A broad fear in researchers is that young children using VR might fail to clearly discern between reality and fantasy, leading to future developmental and behavioral issues. Experts surmise that VR could also have a profound impact on the developing brains of young children. The brain is very plastic at young ages, and exposure with improperly fitting devices could affect its functioning. For example, children may not be able to understand how to communicate eye strain and may fail to remove devices if they feel cramped or uncomfortable when wearing them. Even worse, they simply might get too engrossed in sensory-rich gaming and overlook the discomfort. One of the biggest concerns that parents have pertaining to VR headsets is its potential impact on eyesight or vision. According to the American Academy of Ophthalmology, staring continuously at a VR headset screen or any digital device, for that matter, without breaks may cause eye strain or eye fatigue. When you use a VR headset, you tend to blink less than normal. This can lead to drying out of the front surface of the eyes, resulting in fatigue. Viewing a moving picture gives the brain the same visual signals it receives while viewing actual physical motion. That's why the use of VR materials can also lead to dizziness. If your child is susceptible to motion sickness, they will likely be susceptible to virtual motion sickness too. Finally, the VR system is designed by someone trying to appeal to your child, be it for advertising, politics, or even religious reasons. Thus, if your child spends long afternoons immersed in their VR environment where such manipulation is occurring, it poses a threat to your child's autonomy and may hamper their broader understanding of the world. Although virtual reality is a promising piece of technology, with the potential to supplement and improve education and healthcare, tech experts opine that VR manufacturers need to team up with scientists and researchers to conscientiously examine its long-term implications. Until then, VR should only be used by children under appropriate levels of supervision.